Well, it's the next morning. And I checked my email and the first two comments. People indicated that they thought I should be using the mahogany. <laughs> so the mahogany's back in play. Anyway, what I'm doing here is I'm making a test stand and I can mount the movement down onto it. In that way to find out what the minimum inside dimensions of the case can be, I just measure everything out from the center of the hand shaft. And then I can draw it out on the computer. And then I can cut everything to size and it'll be just right, I hope. Now before I can find out how far down the pendulum bob drops, I guess I better put in the new suspension spring. So, okay, now I know what is the minimum distance from the hand shaft to the bottom of the top of the case and then from the hand shaft to the top of the bottom of the case. Notice how I try to make this sound really hard. And because I'm going to be drawing this out to scale, I better know how big the basil is. Well, this gives me a rough idea of what it could look like. It would be about 9 inches wide and about 15 inches tall. And the depth, well, I don't know yet. Probably about 4 inches. I now know what the inside of the clock measurements are. So I can go ahead and cut the vertical pieces that are going to separate the base from the top. And being as that there's going to be a lot of plexiglass involved here, these pieces don't have to be very big. So this scrap mahogany, if there's such a thing as scrap mahogany, will be just about right. At this point in the construction I'm hoping not to have to use any glue. So as you can see I'm making pocket holes and I'm going to screw everything together. Now you notice that the pocket holes go at an angle, so that means that the screws are going to go into the top and the bottom at an angle. So I definitely have to drill pilot holes or I'm going to split out the wood. And it's really nice to be able to set the drill press like this. It makes it a lot easier. Well, there's still a long ways to go. I gotta sand the joints all flush, and I gotta ease over the corners, I gotta make a dial board, 
but that'll all be in the next video. So, I hope you'll watch for number four.